Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars and welcome to another PlayStation 4 review. Today's review is for Mars Horizon. Now for those of you who are budding astronauts or science geeks and have always wanted to run your own space program, well this is the game for you. This is essentially a simulation game where you get to run your own space agency. Um, and that, you know, on the surface sounds pretty cool and to be fair this game is really quite addictive um, it is like I say a simulation game and at the beginning of your game you are given the option of choosing your space agency and believe it or not you know they're all real space agencies you've got NASA in there you've got the European Space Agency as well as some others across the world including Russia and China and things like that and the idea is you choose your agency and then you enter the space race uh, and it starts in the 1950s at the birth of the space race um, and you've got to start right at the bottom of your space agency you've got to build up your uh, site you've got to build um, buildings and put it on your space agency you know like astronaut training centers and mission control and launch pads uh, power generators the usual sort of thing you'd expect in a game like this um, simulation game but also you've got to balance the space race in the sense of you've got to try and re achieve these milestones before these other space agencies and be the first to do it uh, otherwise you'll lose prestige and you'll lose valuable money uh, because nobody's interested in you know somebody that comes third or fourth in some any kind of race you always remember the first person so the idea is with the game you, uh, you you build up your space agency, you take on missions uh, and these missions vary, you've got missions where you've got to send your very first rocket up into space and then you, you will send up uh, satellites up into space and then your first animal in space like your chimp uh, and then your first lunar flight, then your first human flight and so on and so forth um, and this goes on and you've got to continually research three tiers of research um, so you've got like your buildings to put on your uh, on your site you've got vehicles uh, and by that all these different components that you're going to need to build your rockets shuttles uh, lunar capsules all this kind of stuff um, so you've got th that and then you've got other aspects as well to research um, and you've got to constantly keep researching to try and keep ahead of the competition uh, and taking on these missions um, and then once you choose a mission you've got to you've got to build the payload that you want you've got to build the rocket that's going to be able to handle that payload um, and then you've got to once those are built you can then plan the launch preparations and then you've got to choose a suitable date and you've got to be clever in how you do that because if you choose a date that's not very good if it's suboptimal um, then you potentially it's going to lower the reliability in regards to your launch reliability and your payload liability you've got to take all these things into consideration when you're prepping your launch because if you launch on a really poor weather day if you don't choose the right date then you've got a real chance that the mission is going to fail before it even starts and then you're back to square one you've got to build everything from the start again um, now if this kind of game does sound familiar it does have a similar vibe and feel to Kerbal Space Program now I have played that game in the past but I found it a bit frustrating that game the physics in it it was this is a far more accessible game than Kerbal Space Program far more accessible it's more it's not as hands-on as Kerbal Space Program the science isn't as on it if you like as Kerbal Space Program you've just got to satisfy a few mission parameters before you're allowed to continue so if you've chosen a specific mission like send your first human into space and you haven't yet researched the right module on your spacecraft to do that you'll have to research that first and that could be two or three tiers down in your level of uh, research so you've got to be patient also keeping in mind that the other space agencies are either in front of you or not far behind you so you've got to balance your missions um, 
to try and beat the others but also to do the mission safely because if you fail them then you're going to be back to square one and then and inevitably some other space agencies will beat you then to that race um, so it's I must say this is one of those simulation games where you're going to lose hours and forget how long you've been playing it very much like the recent planet coaster that's a game that you can put on planet coaster and lose yourself in for hours and hours and hours and i found myself doing it with this game this game is hugely addictive now i'm not saying it's of the same quality of planet coaster or the same polish it's, it's not even in the same ballpark to be perfectly honest it's very low budget game this i think i paid about 11 pound a little bit more maybe in the uk reasonably priced for a low budget game especially one that's offering this quite unique experience i've not played a game really like this before other than the space uh, the kerbal space program for the game this is like i say a much more accessible game and you do get a real buzz from the launchers um, as you can see here you know you, you you can see your launch is about to take place and you put a lot of resources and sometimes quite a bit of time in research into these launchers so you're on tenterhooks when they're taking off I'm praying that nothing's going to go wrong and it does give you a little bit of a buzz you know the hairs on the back of your neck stand up a little bit they really do capture that um, buzz if you like that that you feel uh, in these situations uh, when there's a when there's a rocket launching into space and then when you get into space there's like some light puzzling involved in it and by that I mean you've got certain parameters to reach to make the mission a success and essentially it's quite easy to pick up and you can see it here now on the clip that I'm showing um, you get into space with the majority of the missions and then you've got some um, things to collect in space um, and it's just about finding the right sequence to get the right uh, things to collect and if you do it enough um, and you get the optimal levels then the mission is deemed a success um, and then you get all the rewards whether it be financial uh, and, and prestige and all this kind of stuff and it will allow you to continue on with the mission so the ultimate goal here uh, when you obviously bear in mind the title of this game is to eventually do a mission to Mars. I haven't got that far yet, but I'm well on my way. I am in the um, 1970s era now on the game. Um, some would say the peak of the space race, maybe. I'm not so sure. But still, I, I do recommend this game. It's cheap enough. If you like simulation games, and it, uh, I think you're going to enjoy this one. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. It would have been a higher score if it had been a little bit more polish on the game, but I am enjoying it and it's hugely addictive. So thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please click the like button. If you're new, please click subscribe. And don't forget guys, I've just hit 4,000 subscribers. If you want to give me a question for my Q&A, just fire it in the comments. And when I do my Q&A in a couple of weeks, I will answer your question and you will of course get a shout out at the same time. So thank you very much for watching everybody.